In the mid-19th century, they were the rage of the rich, the royal, and the regal. Swiss music boxes, mechanical marvels that combined music and engineering. The music box was at its artistic peak from 1840 through 1910. Now collectors bid and bargain for these beautiful and valuable pieces. Dave and Carol Beck are collectors. Their appreciation extends far beyond just listening. They know them inside out. The Becks are one of only five professional music box restorers in the country. Now broken reeds, combs, and tone-deaf boxes come back to life in their basement. Imagine having to replace each of the tiny pins that form the music. It's very relaxing, really. If you don't, you don't concentrate on each tiny little pin, you just sit back and listen to the music and you keep popping each little pin off. An 11-inch cylinder has about 5,000 to 7,000 pins. Why are you doing this? Oh, because I like it. It's, it's, uh, it's a rapport, I suppose, with the, with the old Swiss and with the old ways, and it's a slower and a more relaxed way of life for, for Carol and I to, to do this type of thing. I just really enjoy it, and uh, I enjoy the machines, too. Do you think there's ever going to be a day when we're going to find disco music on music boxes? I hope not. <laughs> there seems to be no end to the ingenuity of those old Swiss craftsmen, or David and Carol Beck. Machinist, musician, metallurgist, it takes it all to make the gears gear, the rollers roll, the notes note, and the birds chirp. In Atlanta, Georgia, this is Andy Johnston.